CNBC's Rick Santelli, who's kind of considered the godfather of the Tea Party movement because of a rant that he did in 2009, and this guy's gimmick, by the way, is yelling at everything, even more than me. I know people will say, but Kyle, don't you yell? Yeah, this guy uh, makes me look like I whisper, okay? Well, uh, another one of his colleagues, Steve Leishman, Leishman? Uh, he decided he had had enough of Rick Santelli's bullshit, and he's going to own him. The, the jury's still out as to whether the Fed is going to maneuver itself out of this out. Shit. Yes, it no, is. No, no, no. There is no jury out. Who's the jury? Who are you talking about specifically? Well, I'm the judge. I'm talking Academia? to the jury that's here. Professors? Yeah, you wouldn't let valet park your car? Hey, Rick, you already decided this wasn't going to work five years ago. Is some of your hey, anger, right. is some of your anger about right. confirmation bias? You were right, Rick. What were you right, right on? Rick, it's Hasta impossible. Rick, it's you impossible. already decided this would Rick, work. it's impossible for you to have to have been more wrong, Rick. Your, your call for inflation, the destruction of the dollar, the failure of the U.S. You know economy what? to I'll rebound. What, Rick, it's inflation. impossible for you to have more wrong. Every so single, every no single bit of advice you gave would have lost years. people money, the Rick. World would lost say, people <laughs> money, Rick. Every single bit of advice. Strategy. There is no piece of advice that you've given they that's worked, Rick. They need a better Rick. strategy than the Cubs. Wait well, till next year isn't the way to go. There is no piece of advice that you've given that's worked, Rick. Not a single one. Oh, yeah, there is. Paul Richards, I'll give Not a single one. Rick. Can do her job or his job. Not a single one. On the higher interest rates never came. The inability of the U.S. to, to sell bonds never happened. The dollar Macro never crashed, Rick. There isn't a single one that's worked for you. Paul How's it taste, Rick Santelli? Finally, somebody stood up to his smug, arrogant, loud ass. Seriously, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody, even Alex Jones might whisper compared to this guy. I don't think I've ever heard this guy not yell a point he's made. I've seen Alex Jones not yell a point he's made. This guy 24-7 is like, And let me tell you something else about the Fed! The Fed is terrible, and the reason why things are happening is Obama sucks, and Democrats suck, and inflation, and things, and economics. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I'm screaming so idiots like me. My favorite part was when he, when he's, he basically says, I'm right, and I'm leaving. And he walks off the camera, and the idiot traitors are like, Yeah, Rick! Shut down debate because you can't talk, yeah! He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. How does anybody watch that and go, Oh, yeah, I'm on this guy's team. He just screamed and walked off camera. And then he had to come back when the other guy was schooling his punk ass. Here's the thing about CNBC, man. They're a massive joke. At, look, anybody who takes CNBC seriously, I honestly feel sorry for you. And I'll explain why. CNBC, leading up to the Great Recession and the subprime mortgage crisis, okay? They're supposed to be the business uh, expert channel, the financial expert channel. None of them saw it coming. The only person who saw it coming was a guy named uh, Peter Schiff, who's a libertarian. He would come on the air and say, look, I think there's a bubble that's going to pop. And he would get mocked mercilessly by everybody on the channel. Everybody. Fuck it, there's clip, video clips of Jim Cramer saying a week before Bear Stearns collapsed, Bye, 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 Bear Stearns. So hold on, you're telling me this is supposed to be a news, a business news channel. The experts are supposed to be giving people advice. And none of them saw the Great Recession or the subprime mortgage crisis coming? That's like me being a political commentator and getting every single fucking prediction dead wrong and getting every one of my stories I present to you dead wrong. They have no credibility whatsoever. They're basically like George Will in the business field. George Will, of course, predicted a Mitt Romney landslide victory. Uh, what's his face? Larry Kudlow, who's also a host on CNBC, predicted a Mitt Romney landslide victory. How does anybody take these guys seriously? And other, other than that, the only thing they do is they invite on the CEOs of... Uh, certain, you know, big corporations, and they ask them, uh, you know, we're gonna give you some high-minded analysis now about, uh, Pepsi. Anyway, uh, Mr. CEO of Pepsi, how's your company doing? It's doing fantastic? Okay, there you have it. Buy, buy Pepsi. And then they leave. That's not actual analysis. You're bringing in the people who you're supposed to be uh, the watchdog of to give you the information and the news. Obviously, they're gonna lie. They have a conflict of interest. I mean, there's tape of the fucking CEOs of Enron coming on there before they collapse and saying everything is good, our company is very solid and continue to buy, and 
they're not, they're a fucking propaganda outlet. They're a mouthpiece for corporate America. They don't do actual news. They don't do actual information. So when somebody finally comes along and says, hey, bitch, you've been wrong about everything. Shut the fuck up. What does Rick Santelli have to do? Well, continue to scream. Because that's all he knows how to do. But in terms of an intellectual defense, yet again, I hate to go back to the thing I've been doing every day nowadays, but here's Rick Santelli's response to being told he's wrong. <laughs> Pfft.